در قسمت رئیس جمهور امریکا بردان یک قاتل یا آمر به قرد ظاهر شد از اجرای قانون و اجرای ادارت مسئول است و در حاشنه هم قرار دادن هرگز کسانی که در این ترور و این جنایت نشت داشتن هیچ کنم در پای زمین امیم نخواهند Let me tell you, if and when they try to get revenge on the U.S., all you people on the left who said they hate America and hate police, you're going to be begging for them to protect you. I just wanted to be honest with y'all in telling you that the companies that I promote on my channel, I'm not going to be promoting a product or a service on here. That is not something that I truly have bought into. That being said, the sponsor for today's video is shoptotheright.com again. Man, they're doing something really good for American business owners and American consumers. They are an American business listing service that lists American owned businesses to help connect American consumers with American business owners. Because like I've said before, I like to support American owned businesses. So if you're a business owner, you can list your business on there for free, or you can choose their silver or gold plan, which comes with a lot more benefits. Now they've created something pretty cool for the whole year of 2000. 2021 if you use the code HDC at checkout you get half off for the entire year which means that you're gonna be put in front of American consumers for half of what you would have usually paid for the entire year go check them out and thanks again to shop to the right.com for all that you do so Iran is pretty upset that the U.S. got rid of one of the worst known terrorists in the world last year. His name was Qasem Soleimani, or at least that's how I think you say his name. Sorry, I'm not an Iranian citizen and I do not know how to speak their dialect. Thank God. But Soleimani was the commander of the Quds Force since 1997, which is a terrorist group. He was known as the Child Massacre Commander for massacring Syrian children. He suppressed Iraqi people's protests and killed protesters. His soldiers under his command have killed hundreds of thousands of innocents, and he plotted to assassinate the Saudi ambassador of the US. Sounds like a pretty solid guy, right? But for some reason, Iran considers him a martyr. Tens of thousands of people gathered on the death of his anniversary, chanting hateful American chants. Soleimani was put down by an airstrike at the Baghdad airport, which was a huge success for the US, because anytime you can get rid of a terrorist, who's offing hundreds of thousands of people, that's good for the world. Now this is where it really concerns me because as Americans, we rely a lot on our president. They're waiting for Biden to get into office because they know that if they try any sort of revenge, Trump will blow them off this planet. Think about that for a second. And then the Mossad chiefs said this, they would probably prefer to do it after Biden takes over because Trump is unpredictable. Trump is not unpredictable. He just doesn't take crap. A true American. And the Islamic Republic is hoping they can lure Biden into rejoining the 2015 nuclear deal at a low price. Everybody who's like, oh yeah, Biden and Kamala, they're going to be such good people in there. Iran is already working a deal with them. He's not even president yet. They already have him figured out. A terrorist nation is planning on working over the next president of the United States if he gets in there. If this doesn't tell you that this so-called presidency for Biden is not going to be a crapshoot, I don't know what does. But as far as Iran saying that there isn't going to be a safe place for Donald Trump on Earth, hold your horses up for a second, okay? Trump's probably going to build a new golf course in Iran and name it Blow Me Iran Country Club. Their slogan will probably be a free Bud Light for every MAGA shirt that's bought. But this is the exact reason why the U.S. can't be at odds. And for those of you who live on Iraq, I'm talking about the left and the right here. We have terrorists overseas plotting a revenge, waiting for another president to come in because Trump is such a badass. And the left is out hoarding toilet paper and breaking into Walmarts and protesting about crap that doesn't matter in the long run. 
Nobody cares about your feelings. Stop protesting about them. Go to a therapist. But like I've said in a video a long time ago, the left has gone too far. Let me give you an example. I am not a trusting person. You can tell me something, I'll listen, but I'll observe your action afterwards. And that'll tell me if I should trust you or not. But people on the left have made it so clear that they hate patriotic Americans. They think we're racist. They think we're idiots. That once it's time to join up again because somebody tries to get revenge on the US, you don't have a spot with me. That bridge has been burned six times over and then fell in the river. We as Americans need to adopt the thinking of feelings are overrated. Facts are what matter. And here are the facts. Iran hates the US. But at the end of the day, when they try to get revenge on the US, do you think they're gonna care if you're a liberal or conservative? No, you're an American. The problem is that the left don't act like Americans. They hate America, they protest, they destroy cities. Let me tell you, if and when they try to get revenge on the US, all you people on the left who said they hate America and hate police, you're gonna be begging for them to protect you. Chopper load em up, sun down here, got one option when it's tough. Cowboy up, jack trucks, big bucks, yeah we cooking up. Duck.